हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मिरर ऑफ साइकोलॉजी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल फॉर मोर साइकोलॉजी रिलेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट लेवल्स ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग प्रोपोज बाई क्रेक एंड लॉकहर्ट दिस मॉडल ऑफ मेमरी ऑफर्स एन ऑल्टरनेटिव टू द मल्टी स्टोरी मॉडल ऑफ मेमरी प्रोपोज बाई एटकिसन एंड शिफरीन विच सेज दैट एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन फर्स्ट गोज टू सेंसरी मेमरी एंड इफ वी पे अटेंशन टू दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन देन इट गोज टू शॉर्ट टर्म मेमरी and through the process of consolidation the information moves to long term memory however crake and lockhart's model focuses on how information is processed rather than where it is stored crake and lockhart proposed that memory can be better explained by levels of processing where incoming information is analyzed in stages ranging from shallow sensory processing to deeper more abstract and semantic processing Shallow processing involves focusing on superficial characteristics of the information. It's just like looking at face value of something without engaging with its deeper meaning. Shallow processing is done through two distinct levels. One is visual processing and the other one is phonemic processing. In visual processing, we focus on the visual appearance of the information. For example, seeing the word elephant and noting that all the letters are in upper case without considering what an elephant is in phonemic processing we focus on the sound of words for example hearing the word cat and recognizing how it is pronounced and understanding that it rhymes with bat and hat but not thinking about what a cat actually is in contrast deep processing involves understanding the underlying meaning and connections of the information just like logical processing which is effective for long term retention and recall for example when you hear the word elephant you not only recognize what the word mean and what the animal looks like but you might also remember a childhood story about an elephant so here you are engaged in deep processing greek and lockhart also suggest that information processing does not happen in a fixed sequence from shallow to deep our brain decides which information should be processed at a superficial level and which at a deeper level this means we can perceive meaning directly without first going through basic surface level processing for example when proofreading a document you focus on the surface details of the text such as spelling errors punctuation grammar mistakes and typographical errors here you are primarily concerned with the physical appearance and correctness of the text rather than its meaning conversely when reading to understand the main points you might overlook minor errors because your focus is on grasping the overall message and meaning so in summary crick and lockhart's levels of processing model provides an understanding of how we process information highlighting the importance of depth in processing for better retention and recall this perspective shifts our focus from the structure of memory storage of sensory memory short term memory and long term memory to the nature of information processing itself thank you for watching the video if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content leave a comment below if you have any questions or thoughts about today's topic